Hi, my name's Mitz. I'm going to show you how to download DVD Shrink uh, because it's a free program. Um, I'm going to show you where to go to get it um, easily without having to enter your name and email and stuff like that. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is type Google into the top address bar and just because I've been there a million times I'll, I'll just choose that on there. Okay, so when Google comes up, we just want to type into the bar, download, DVD shrink. Okay, I've got it there, so I'll just choose it. And just press search, or you can just press enter. Okay, so your results are going to come up. Um, if you choose the wrong one it's very annoying so we're going to miss out on that one there uh, we don't like that one either um, we like that website but we want this link here okay because it takes you straight to the download if you go here it gets confusing to find it so we're going to press on this one So now we've arrived at the Softpedia uh, website. So what we've got to do is we've got to scroll down and just there's a lot of advertising on here but we've got to look for this department where it says download locations for DVD shrink. Right, so here's our two choices here. So all we have to do, I'll just choose the top one. I'm going to press on it and it's going to come up with the dialog box do I want to open it now or do I want to save it so I'm going to save it press save and now it's going to say where do I want to save that okay so I'm just going to um, open up my downloads folder double click on it and I'm going to save it into there all I have to do is go down the bottom and press save Okay, now it's starting to download it. Uh, it's pretty simple. Um, that's it. It's a really small program. So I can open the folder where I put it. And it is there. It's highlighted and it is compressed. Um, you'll have to decompress it. I, um, that's pretty easy. I have WinRAR. Um, but yeah, all you have to do, I mean, some people have WinZip and there's all sorts of different ones. All you have to do is uncompress it and install it and that's it. Okay, thanks for listening.